What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to Just Size World TV. I hope y'all are doing well today. So let's go ahead and talk about Nick Cannon's old top. Woo! Okay, now listen, I know I'm a couple days late on the story, but I really had to talk about this because it was on my spirit, it was on my soul, because Nick Cannon tried it, y'all. He tried it, he tried it. If you guys do not know, Nick Cannon sat down with The Breakfast Club a few days ago, and he had a conversation regarding, you know, what's going on with the kids. As y'all already know, that Nick Cannon had seven kids. He already has seven kids, you guys, by multiple women. Okay, and hell, two, three of them are only in a year time span. But to make matters only worse, he went on a breakfast club and did an interview regarding his stupid ass explanation on why he actually continues to spread his tea, on why he actually continues to spread his seed in his Eurocentric mentality when it comes to having multiple kids and his personal idea of being with one person for the rest of his life. Take a look at this clip and I'll be right back with the remainder of my commentary. All right, you guys, so Black Twitter was not here for the BS, okay? And they done drugged his ass for filth. Let me go ahead and read some of you guys. One tweet said, Nick Cannon, really crazy. This man just said it's Eurocentric to be loyal and only have one thing. What the hell? Another tweet said, Nick Cannon made zero sense in that interview. S and H fake B. Another tweet said, no, Nick Cannon, it's not ownership, it's partnership. 
This is fuckery at its highest level. And who suffers the most? The ones you do not mention. The children. Another tweet said, Nick Cannon ain't no different from future aka Team Dead. Same shit, different talk. Shame. Alright, another tweet said, The only thing that Nick Cannon can say is that he was honest and none of the kids' moms were surprised. But to throw around how monogamy is Eurocentric, has he seen how most of moms look? Alright you guys, so y'all have just seen the video and the tweet reactions. Some people were not here for the video, you guys, y'all seen all of it. And this is what I have to say about the whole situation. Nick Cannon gives me that vibe when, first of all, we already knew y'all back in the thousands, late 90s, we knew that Nick Cannon did have that corny type of vibe. I feel like Nick Cannon um, in his past was rejected so many times. Now that he's actually, I'm not going to say doing a revenge, but he don't know how to control his dick, if I'm being honest. He don't, <laughs> he don't know how to control it because he's going around having mo all these different kids. Y'all, check this. It, he had about four kids in a year. If you don't know, in December 2020, Nick Cannon woke up a daughter named Powerful Queen, Brittany Bell. And then of June of this year, he woke up twins by Abby De La Rosa. Okay? And then just a few weeks ago, he had another child named Zen by Alyssa Scott. So you're having multiple children by these multiple different women. Listen, if you want it, grant it. Okay, you do what you gotta do. You you a good dad, that's cool. Don't give us this stupid ass T.I. ideology. And you know, use all these different indoctrinate and shit like dude, like what religion are you following, okay? Let me know. What spiritual thing are you following? Like, sir, I need you to calm the hell down. Now I get it, okay. If you this is 2021. If you cool with being in a, a poly relationship with different type of women, that's completely fine. Do you? But you're having multiple kids by multiple women, dude. You're no better than future. You're just a nice, more clean up version in a suit. And shout out to you having your own show, Nick Cannon. I'm pretty sure that you're going to need to check. Nick Cannon is full of shit when it comes to that. Like, that's the most tired ass excuse. At least I'm up to your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you having all these different kids by different baby moms, first of all, I can feel real. If I was on that, you feel real. Okay? It's like future. These days women knew, or maybe they didn't know, who knows? But I really feel like that was a bullshit ass excuse. But guys, let me know y'all thoughts and comments about the whole situation and let's go ahead and get the discussion going, alright? Alright, now. Hey, what's up guys? It's your size world TV. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be notified when I post more videos. Bye bye!